Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. The last time the Fresno State baseball team beat Stanford was in 2012 at Pete Biden Field. However, the last time they beat them in the postseason was back in 1991. The Diamond Dogs were looking for their first postseason win against the Cardinal in 28 years. A good crowd on hand in Sunken Diamond, where the Dogs were the home team against host Stanford. Whoever wins, punches its ticket into tomorrow's championship game. Bottom four, Nolan Dempsey ties it up with a swing of the bat, a solo blast to left center, and it's knotted at one. Top five, Davis Moore on the bump. And Take a look at this. The classic strike him out, throw him out, double play. Bends with the incredible throw to nail the runner at second. Moore pitched six and two thirds while striking out eight. Bottom six, bases loaded, one out. Emilio Nogales goes oppo. Two runs will score, and that's a two RBI double. Nogales is pumped up. Take a look, and it's 3 1, dogs. Next inning, now 4 1. McCarthy Tatum pushes it through the right side. Two more will cross, and that makes it 6 1, Fresno State. The dogs rack up 11 hits and beat 11th ranked. Stanford 7-2, their ninth straight win. Here's Andrew Martin, who had a front row seat. The Fresno State baseball team keeps winning, now nine in a row after the Bulldogs beat Stanford tonight here in the Bay Area at the NCAA Regional. That's how you get to 2-0. Uh, you got to pitch, you got to play defense. Uh, we backed it up with some outstanding bullpen uh, pitching also, uh, both yesterday with Sullivan and Carvajal today. But the starting pitching, you're right, was the key uh, to both wins. For the second night in a row, Fresno State got a great pitching performance from its starter. Davis Moore went six and two thirds innings. He gave up just one run on two hits while striking out eight. And he got plenty of run support. We have to give a shout out to Emilio Nogales. His two run double in the sixth put Fresno State up three to one. And once he got to second base, he ripped open his jersey to show off his chest hair. Just the heat of the moment, I get made fun of for having just a bunch of chest hair and just got to let it show. If you got it, own it. Heat of the moment, the motion, got to do what you got to do. And we all love Emilio and we give him crap about his chest hair, but we also. We love it. With tonight's win, Fresno State advances to the regional championship game tomorrow night at 6 p.m. against either Stanford again or Sacramento State. If the Bulldogs win that game, they advance to the Super Regionals. In Stanford at the NCAA tournament, I'm Andrew Martin for Sports Central. Julia, back to you. Thanks, Andrew. And some of them are rocking some good mustaches out there. To the Grizzlies, where they were hosting the Bees for game four of a five game set. Salt Lake doesn't waste any time. Top one, Taylor Ward hits a solo blast to left center to get the Bees on the board. The former Diamond Dog was coming off of a monster outing last night. Five for six, four RBI. Bottom two now, Grizz down 2 1. Colin Cowgill ties it up with a single to left. That'll bring in a run, and it's 2 2. Uh, the Bees actually take it 5 4 in the 11th, and the series finale is tomorrow at 105. To the pitch where Fresno FC traveled to Colorado Springs to take on the switchbacks. Foxes were trailing by one in the 84th minute, looking for the equalizer, but the header goes over the crossbar. A perfectly placed ball by Juan Pablo Caffa. Los Soros weren't able to find the back of the net today as they fall 1 0. The Foxes are back home next Saturday. Meanwhile, in Ohio at the Memorial Golf Tournament, former Bulldog Nick Watney moved up 15 spots, is tied for 18th place after a third round 3 under 69, while Clovis East alum Bryson DeChambeau shot a 1 over 73 and heads into the final round tied for 59th. We'll be right back.